closer attack in front. She leads by five. Senyata, Wise Dan, brilliant in the mile. If Wise Dan's name is called Saturday night, he'll become the 11th champion to be named Horse of the Year more than once. But it's doubtful Wise Dan or any other horse will break the record for Horse of the Year honors. That belongs to the immortal Kelso. Five years in a row, beginning in 1960, Kelso was voted Horse of the Year. No other horse before or since has won more than three times. If there's anything horse racing tells us is that you can never use the word singular, but in Kelso's case, you can. I remember people talk about him, he looked like a deer running, he was just so graceful. Kelso was a bit of a late bloomer, and as a three-year-old in 1960, he missed all of the Triple Crown races. But he burst on the scene that summer and won eight of nine starts, including the first of five straight Jockey Club Gold Cups. It was two miles at that time. You could compare it to the Breeders' Cup Classic in terms of a sense of a climactic end of the year race. In 1961, Kelso won the prestigious New York Handicap Triple, carrying at least 130 pounds in each race. Years later, his trainer Carl Hanford would recall the 61 Metropolitan Handicap as one of Kelso's greatest victories. He went from the outside at the head of the stretch, but back down on the rail, and then come back on the outside of all hands. He was the most determined horse I've ever seen. Kelso on the outside, but Gumbo hasn't given up yet. A couple years, Kelso needed every bit of that toughness to eke out Horse of the Year. In 1964, the title came down to a final race between Kelso and Gunbo, who had traded victories and thrilled fans that season. It was winner take all on the turf at Laurel Park. Neither Gunbo nor Kelso were really grass horses uh, per se, but Kelso ran the race of his life on grass, won it in record time, won by six or seven lengths, and that cemented his fifth horse of the year. Kelso's streak was aided by the fact that he was a gelding, and there was no dominant three-year-old of that era, but he earned every one of his five titles on the racetrack, finishing his career with 39 victories, a third of them coming at 130 pounds or more. Kelso was more than just a horse of the year, he was a horse of a lifetime. I'm Scott Jagow for the Pollock Report.